now are some archers. <laughs> Semi-final number two for the women's recurve. It's time for their introductions. On target number one, representing Germany, Katerina Pollack. On target number two, representing Great Britain, Riley Pittman. <laughs> and the main judge for this match is Louis Simon Peter. Well, there we have it. Uh, another two that haven't got individual medals on our Iron Archery World Cup stage, but here, Bryony Pittman, who has got medals individually in field and indoor archery, but says it's all come together at the same time here in Antalya. Katrina Bauer, though, despite not having a medal herself on the individual, won the Spring Arrows warm-up here in Antalya just a couple of weeks ago. They go up against each other in the semi-final. It's Bauer who will get the first set underway. Making a quick adjustment on her sight there. Conditions have still been looking pretty good this afternoon. Straight to the turn for Bryony. Just telling the athlete where that arrow's gone so they can make further adjustments. Well, a 24 is a very gettable target for Bryony Pittman. And in the form of her life, gets a 27 to take the first set and go 2-0 up. She talked earlier, having picked up her team gold and mixed team silver, about how everything's come together for her all at once in, in Antalya. She's on absolutely electric form. Yeah, that's right. I mean, she's 25 now. She's been on the circuit for some years and you know, she really started to peak around 2019 and she was on track for Tokyo and it was all going so well, the best I've ever seen her shoot. And then with the hiatus where everything stopped for a year and, uh, you know, it's taken her just a, another 12 months really to get back to where she was and now she's showing the form that she was in. Yeah, tricky times for everyone in, in various restrictive measures, but it's it's impossible to replicate international tournaments at home. If you're stuck at home, you can shoot as many arrows as you like, but there's nothing quite like the pressure of an international tournament. Katharina Bauer, two set points to nil down. Shoots first in the second. And that's much better from her getting round of applause from her coach. It's a very slight adjustment on that front arm, wasn't it? I think she knew it was going to go right, just tried a little bit to bring it left. Just notice the thread on the long rod here of Katharina's bow as well. That's just a little A to see what, what's happening to the wind right in front of you. The asterisk on the scoreboard suggests that uh, arrow is going to be measured. There's a bit of movement there from uh, Pittman, but she still gets it into the 10. So that measure could be very important. Nine points. So potentially the door is open. Potentially Bauer is on 28, but could be on 29. Little wince there, you can see she wasn't happy with the construction of that shot. Drops it down into the six and uh, the measure no longer important. And Katarina Bauer is back in the match, all square at two apiece. Much better from Bauer there, much more solid from her. Yeah, it was, she's uh, come back strong in the second set as, as she needed to put that pressure onto Bryony. 
probably just sort of stopped, didn't she, at full draw. She was there a very long time and kind of forced that shot off and dropped it low. So she's now got to push the reset button so she can come back in this match. Just saw that, that back elbow just go forward a little bit on the slow-mo and the front arm just trying to pull it up. So all square in this women's semi-final. Katarina Bauer of Germany will get the third set underway. Nine points. Nine points. Nine points. Just you talked about the last uh, shot for Brani Pittman in the last set a longer hold. She just does, looks a lot better when the arrow flies pretty quickly. Yeah, recurve is all about being dynamic, keeping that movement going all the time. Um, and she just stops in that last arrow, the last set. Nine points. Beautiful movement Nine that points. shot. The timing was quick. Straight into the gold. Another opportunity for the British archer here. A seven to share the set points. Any more and she'll be 4-2 up. Ten. In to the 10. Arnie Pippen goes back into the lead. But uh, Nikki, uh, look, you, obviously you, you competed for Great Britain, so you know the, the British archers better. There just seems to be almost like a little bit of doubt going on, perhaps. There's something she's battling, some kind of demon, isn't she, Pippen? You know, she's, she has been on the circuit a long time, and it, when you have had their disappointments, sometimes it's hard, I guess, to get that out of your mind a little bit, and maybe her confidence is a little bit rocky, but this is her tournament right now, isn't it, to get into three finals matches has been absolutely fantastic for her, the, the tournament of her life, so she's got to just keep that confidence up and, and just go out there and do her thing. Well, getting a lot of support from her teammates in the crowd, trying to build her up. This is her third attempt at a medal here in Antalya, having taken gold in the team competition and silver in the mixed team but she's up against a very strong Katarina Bauer trailing as she does the German she starts the set yeah trying to get back on level terms Nine points. Nice shots from there, nice and smooth, good timing, good group, just a little bit low right, just needs to make the adjustments to bring them in. No oh, I thought to self a little chuckle there, wasn't it? She did again a little bit of movement of the bow afterwards, but it was in the ten. Yeah, it just wasn't a good shot, was it? You know, she didn't feel like it was a good shot, and then she giggled to herself when she got that 10. You've got to take those sometimes. Well, she's got to take this one as well if she wants to make it to the gold medal match. An eight is all she needs for the win. Nine. And she gets a nine. Bryony Pittman has battled her way through the semi-finals.